So you see here, Lucifer represents life, thought, progress, civilization, liberty, independence. Lucifer is the Logos, the serpent, the savior. And this is the Aurora Borealis. This is the green astral jet shooting out of the black hole sun. You bow your head in prayer to the black sun. You close your eyes, make a wish to the black sun. You throw your coin into the wishing well for the black sun. It is Lucifer who is the god of our planet or the goddess and the only god. And she continues, you see this, as the celestial virgin. So every compass is pointing inward to the center of the dish. This is where Jesus, the sun, places his light into the hole. And out from the hole comes the Aurora Borealis, the goddess of the earth, the earth's memory, the celestial virgin, which thus becomes the mother of gods and devils at one. So I'm explaining to you, this is the infinite potential. Whatever you set your mind to, your intent and your will, it's like intent is the trigger and your will is the bullet or something like that. What I'm saying to you is that, you know, she is the loving, beneficent deity and Lucifuge, Lucifer, Luciferius. She is the goddess of the earth, the Aurora Borealis, the Holy Ghost. You know, I spilt up my blood into the earth, asking the Great Spirit for guidance, and this is what's guiding me. She showed me her holy hole and how to take over the universe. And I'm telling you, if you don't place your blood beside my own, you're not getting into the Garden of Eden. It's just that simple. You need to be published. Side by side, blood is thicker than water. Or you ain't coming with me. You'll be on your own. I bet you, you bet your fucking ass on it. Nobody has to like it, but I'm bringing forth the New World Order myself. You know, it doesn't matter what religion you think you are. You're a filthy cockroach. Until you're pointing out the Holy Grail every day of your life, your life is literally in my hands. If I don't wake up enough motherfuckers to cause an exodus to get to the Holy Grail, you will fucking die. Everybody you love will surely die. It's clear who holds the Spear of Destiny, and it's clear who is the Prince of Darkness, motherfucker. You know, I put up blood for the Angel of Death, and I can see I'm being trained to take over the position. Because I want to squash cockroaches out. You think you're holier than thou? Until you put your blood up beside my own motherfucker, the angel of death is going to find you. I can see it. The angel of death is sitting beside me, literally, teaching me how to take over this world legally. And nobody will stop me. I'm standing on gallons of motherfucking donated blood. And it will take you years to catch up just to get the attention of your creator. So, you know, if you want to take over my position... Throw up whatever blood you got that you intend to bring forth heaven and earth to release everybody from bondage without killing yourself. And uh, maybe you might get the attention of your creator to take over my position to bring forth heaven and earth. I only told you you needed a pinprick. I'm going to do your job for you. You're so filthy, retarded, and necrophiliac sick. I don't want your advice. You have no information coming out of your mouth. If you did, you'd be publishing videos, pointing out the Holy Grail. For heaven's sakes, if I don't make enough videos, you will fucking die. It just hasn't hit you yet. So, I don't claim to be holier than thou. I have the spear of fucking destiny. I gave up my free will. I'm following a book, motherfucker. I'm being trained by the angel of death to snuff motherfuckers out in masses. Because they all think they're on a ball floating through space as monkeys. Because they teach your children about candy canes and Santa Claus. And they don't tell them what it's all about. The Holy Grail. You take communion and you take the body and blood of Christ. You cannibal, satanic, blood magic motherfucker. You just don't see it until you put your blood up beside my own. You know. It is what it is. The angel of death is going to find you, motherfucker. Every psychic must be fucking retarded because uh, every compass right now is pointing to the Holy Grail that you live on a flat earth plane. You go to a church, you kneel down, you make an upside down cross going from your head to your chest left to right. You set up your Christmas tree, the spear of destiny that pierces the side of Jesus Christ who's on the cross. Jesus is the sun. You think you're on a ball floating through space as an accident when you're trapped in a black hole. You bow your head in prayer to the black sun. You close your eyes, make a wish to the black sun. You think... Hell is beneath you when you're in hell right now. That's Helios above your head. You have your double helix. You have, hello, and how's your health? It's that everybody's so filthy fucking reverse of psychic and, and completely retarded. It's filthy fucking crazy. You just can't possibly imagine. Every superhero, everybody out there, they're all filthy fucking necrophiliacs. The devil has your soul already in the Vatican. <laughs>
They took it from you at birth. Your parents gave it up willingly. You're lost at sea, officially dead. You gave up the land. You gave up your soul. You gave up everything. So, as far as psychics go, I'm telling you as Satan himself, I have the fucking spear of destiny. I'm getting everybody eternal life. You're all a bunch of fucking retards. Like I remind people often, silly human slaves here to mine gold. Okay? Not me. I'm here to bring forth heaven on earth. And I remind people often. Okay? Because that's what writes it into the matrix. Okay? You need to start understanding that you are this powerful being and your blood, like they store it in a blood bank, that's because your blood is owned by God. And when you write out on a piece of paper something and you spill your blood on it and publish it to the Ethernet, okay, that gets programmed into the matrix. Before the Internet, I would have simply wrote out my intent onto a piece of paper and published it to the, any newspaper of the day for 30 days, and I would have went from not being able to see to being able to see. The key thing here is publishing it so that it gets into the ether. You must publish it. Before there was a newspaper, I would have simply nailed my intent okay, to, the water, to a tree by the watering hole, and that would have put it into the ether. But times have changed. And now we're in the future. We have an ethernet. And now we have a way to get control of the matrix with our blood. Your blood is very magical, people. The sooner you figure this out, the better off you're going to be. Okay? Your blood is the most powerful substance in the universe. You need to write your intent. I intend to usher in heaven on earth. You need to place your blood over it and publish video proof of it right beside the rest of ours. Titled Blood Over Intent on YouTube. So go to your YouTube search. Hit Blood Over Intent. And look at all of us spilling our blood over our intent. God owns our blood. That's the most powerful substance in the universe. That's You think this is an accident, people? We're reprogramming the matrix with our blood. This is real. This is powerful stuff. Look up the properties and what makes it so special about blood. Okay? You'll see it. Eventually, put your bare feet on dry soil. Speak your intent to the sun. This is a key thing you need to do, people. You need to familiarize yourself with reality. And that ain't going to happen until you do these types of things. Until then, you're, it's like you never left Egypt. You're just, you need to get to this holy hole before we're dead. And I'm going to scream this out from the top of my lungs over and over and over and over. It's ever fucking lasting life. The angel of death is going to find you, motherfucker. Her up for them. We shall fix that. Believe me. Go off for them. We shall fix that. Believe. I love you. God bless you. We shall I love you. God bless you. We shall die. We shall die. We will die. Ignorance of the law excuses no one. Your creator requires atonement for your sins. And you're laughing your ass off. I'm telling you as Satan himself. This is my fucking world because you're so filthy fucking retarded. You're officially dead in a necrophilia. I leave for heaven in a nice new ship. Hurry.